All right, TikTok story for y'all. TikTok word of the day is pivot. You got to learn to pivot. You got to stick and move, be able to turn, change and turn directions at the drop of a dime, at the drop of a... I know my TikTok page is dry. I'm still learning how to use this damn app, so uh, my TikTok page is real dry, but I don't care. I'm talking about real shit, dropping real game on it. I was talking to one of my homeboys on the phone, and he's going through some things in life, and uh, it's kind of getting the best of him, and I was telling I was telling him, don't let him get in, you know, let, let it get him down. You know, you got to learn to pivot. You got to be able to change directions. You got to move and groove and, and be able to take that and, and, and move and do something different. You know, you got to pivot. I was telling him how, remember when I was, you know, I was born and raised in Chicago. Um, I had a big family, a family that was in the streets and they was, you know, in the selling drugs and gang banging and things like that. And I fell into that just because that's what my family did. And um, I was out there getting busy doing some things, you know, thank God I never went to prison or, you know, anything like that. I have a lot of family members that have went I have family members that lost their life behind that. A lot of friends that went to prison lost their life behind that. And I saw it coming. And I knew that uh, I was in it, but I wasn't of it. I knew this wasn't me. This wasn't my final destination. And I was always thinking and moving and trying to pivot. So around 98, 99, when I saw things coming to a head and coming to an end, I was trying to make my move and start pivoting. And uh, I knew I had talent. I had music talent. So I was able to do some things in music. And I took that as an opportunity to pivot. So I made some connections with some big name people in LA, uh, Layla Steinberg, Suge Knight, um, Muta, people like And I made my way out there to LA and uh, I went out there and I pivoted. I started doing music. I stood on business, standing on business. I had confidence in myself and I made a pivot move. Uh, made a lot of great connections and uh, had some crazy experiences in the music industry. Uh, I'm definitely writing a book about it, uh, putting that together now. But uh, it, you know, things went good, but when I was in it, I also saw that the music industry wasn't for me. They wasn't built like me. I wasn't built like them. We were on two different pages, and I, I walked away from that shit. I said, it was time to pivot. So I made another pivot move, and uh, I pivoted out of that, and I went into the uh, transportation and logistics uh, business and, uh, industry. So I made a pivot from music, went into the logistics and transportation field. I got into that game. I learned that game, and uh, I built a company from the ground up by myself. Um, I made a pivot move. I learned to pivot. You know, you got to survive out here. I built, I had a company with uh, a couple trucks, a couple drivers. I was able to really kind of semi-retire myself and just kind of sit back and run the company. And uh, it went well for, for a lot of years. Uh, made great money, uh, living good, you know, a good life. I saw that coming to an end and starting to slow down and uh, I had to pivot. So another time in my life where I had to pivot. I see things coming and I had to pivot, change directions and keep it, you know, keep going and keep moving. I pivoted from uh, the logistics and transportation field. Uh, now I'm in IT. Uh, I don't care about hiding my age or whatever. I'm on TikTok. I don't give a fuck. I just turned 50 a couple years ago and uh, I'm, in, I'm in college right now for IT. So I made a pivot move from transportation and logistics. I pivoted into IT and um, information tech. So I see that's where things are going. I see it's good money, it's a great career field. So I pivot and made a move into that. And a uh, long story short is I was telling my homeboy that I was talking to, um, you know, that's going through. I was telling him as black men, you know, we definitely have to be on top of game. We have to always be thinking ahead of the curve, uh, 10 steps ahead of everybody else. And we gotta be able to pivot at a moment's notice, at the drop of a dime. It could be life or death sometimes. Uh, and we, gotta, we have to have that ability. So I told him, man, Take this with a grain of salt, pivot from it, go a different direction and, and, and get into something else. So that's my word of the day for the day, man. It's, 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 it's black men or men or just whatever. We got to learn to pivot. Shit, you got to be able to pivot. Keep it going, keep it moving, keep it grooving. Stand on business. It's just what it is. God, body, shine. Peace. And the word of the day is pivot. You got to pivot. Move and groove.